to the Sanford Museum and we would like to wish you a happy holidays. One of the days that we're giving back to the community this year is that we're doing our holiday craft day. This is going to be on Small Business Saturday or the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And what we're doing is if the kids get bored of shopping downtown, they can come to the Sanford Museum and learn a craft. The craft that I'll be teaching is actually the how to make one of these. Believe it or not, this is the first artificial Christmas tree or how to make it. As you can see, it looks like a sprig, but it is made of these different components. We have your floral wire, your brown floral tape, make sure it's brown, not green. And sometimes you can have a decorative berry and then dyed goose feathers that are by it cut. And what does by it cut mean? It just simply means, hold on, I'm gonna pull one of these out. It's cut on the middle of what is called the spine of the feather. So if you ever look at a feather, um, it will have uh, kind of the big, what the quill is kind of usually made out of. That's gonna be the spine and then the tiny little um, other parts like these things are called the barbs. And it makes a very convincing effect. In order to find by it cut feathers, you can find them at various different um, craft stores. You can go online and there's actually feather places. And this is actually found a lot in fly fishing of all things. Now, in order to make this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your floral tape and this is tape when you stretch it, it has like a glue, an adhesive. So what you're gonna do is kind of secure it at the top. I kind of do it like that. And then you're gonna do this pull and twist. Now sometimes if it's a little bumpy at first, don't worry, that's gonna make it look a little bit more natural. Just think about trees and how they're not. So I like to keep it at like a 40 degree and keep it taut because that's gonna activate the glue and it's gonna kind of attach itself. If any of you use that saran wrap, that's like the press and seal, it's very similar to that. But it doesn't activate unless you kind of stretch it. So you can see I'm putting it between my fingers to kind of give it a place to go. But if I wasn't, I'm just wrapping it around like that. You can do either option. Now, telling you a little bit about this, the reason why these were made um, was because back in the 1890s, Germany was having a deforestation problem. This was due to the second industrial revolution kind of going around the same time. Germany also became famous for being kind of what is, is known as the manufacturers of Christmas. Uh, Prince Albert introduced the Christmas tree to the British, uh, royal family and that quickly became an icon. In America it's a little different. Uh, we had a German fellow named Charles Fullen who was a professor at Harvard and he's credited with bringing the Christmas tree over. But the Germans decided to capitalize on Christmas and became major manufacturers of it. So with this overforestation um, they realized that they can basically kill two birds with one stone. I guess kill little birds. Um, and they decided to make the first Christmas, fake artificial Christmas trees with these feather trees. If you put them all together, you can see how they're kind of little scraggly. They do kind of look like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Now, what you're gonna do is make sure that the barbs are going this way and you're going to make it line it up. So you're gonna line up that spine that's cut in the middle up to the top what you're gonna do. Some people like gluing at this part. I like just taking a little bit of floral um, tape. Hold on, make sure that's kind of like that. I get like a little chunk like that and kind of split it. You can see how I'm splitting it. And I'm gonna, again, wrap that floral wire. Again, it's not gonna be super perfect. You just want enough to secure it at the top. And again, you're, you're you're making sure that glue is, is activated. And I don't wanna get that in there. And I'm just gonna rip it off. So it's not super secure there. Some people like putting glue. Some people also like kind of sticking a berry on top to add some color. I like it looking a little bit more natural. So then this is where the magic happens. What you're gonna do is make sure that spine is constantly touching the floral, the floral wire that is wrapped with tape. And then you're just gonna spin. 
and I just realized I have this backwards. No, I don't. I'm I'm fine. Never mind. So you can either do it like shh, very closely together to get like a very full um, branch, or you can do something where it's a little bit looser, and you can do that. Once you're done, uh, secure it with some floral tape. And I like going all the way down with it just to make it extra secure. And then you rip it off and here you have it. I'm gonna stick it in my hair. <laughs> and a little another accessory for the holiday season. So if you would like to learn how to make this craft, we would love to have you. As you can see, it's of all ages and we would love to see your little art first artificial trees. So come on out. We're gonna be open nine to five on Saturday and we'll see you there.